Hey guys, this is Cybernod, and today I have a very special video for you guys because, as you can already tell, I was able to get my case of the 2019 Megatons, the gold sarcophagus Megatons, I guess I should call them, because, yeah, we have basically a mountain of gold in front of us. So, of course, for this video, I'm going to open up all 12 of these tins in one video, so... Let's get to it. And of course, in case people are wondering, I got all these from Big and Collectibles. Check them out. Link in the description. It's where I bought them from. And uh, yeah, subscribe, like, do all that fun stuff too because uh, yeah, this is a lot of packs to get to. And like I said, let's get to it because uh, I don't want to waste too much time. I'm just kind of going to throw tins to the side, honestly. Sorry if it's loud, but uh, I'm probably going to reuse some of these tins too because they're really nice. But again, I just don't want to waste time. So let's get to it. Promo pack first. So, of course, with these, you get three mega packs and one promo pack. The promo pack can actually be random, so remember that. Uh, first off, we have Blue Eyes Alternative uh, Ultimate Dragon. So, our new Blue Eyes looks really cool. I love it. Then, Exodia, <laughs> the Legendary Defender. These were like the, that might be the same ones I got from the first one open up. Regeki. Yeah, I think we got Regeki too. These are all prismatic, by the way, because they, they look really nice. It looks a little bit better in person. Then, oh, we got Slifer this time. Okay, it was Monster Reborn last time. I was about to say, are we getting the exact same ones after I say the random? That looks nice. I think all the God cards, too, are in this. Then, uh, this time we have a Dimension Shifter. Last time we got the Meteor. Noboru, or however you say his name. So, yeah, <laughs> that is really cool. So you get one of the World Premiere cards as well, which are kind of World Premiere, but Japan's getting them in the extra pack, which I think is next month. So we're not really getting them ahead of uh, Japan too much. And let's get to it. I mean, a ton of reprints on these. You guys have probably seen all these commons because they've been in past sets. No need to go through them too uh, too slow, really. Uh, F.A. Don Dragster, super rare, which that looks nice. I like it. Then, oh, already Crusadia Equimax. Oh, man, that looks awesome. And again, they are prismatic secret rare, kind of like World Superstars. You guys remember that set? It's been a few years? Has it been like four years or something? It might have been longer than that. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, he got a rarity boost and it looks amazing. And then also we got a Nightmare Unicorn. Well, there we go. There's one of the higher dollar reprints. I, I think most cards are pretty cheap to get out of this. I don't know if Boral Sword is easier or what, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I hope Boral Sword's easier to get because even after its reprint uh, recently, it was still fairly expensive, and nah, not after two reprints. We need it to get easy to get for budget players, is how I feel. I'll get more organized as I go, too. <laughs> Let's see, we have Cyber Rev System. That's pretty good, Super Rare. It was a secret before. And then, well, <laughs> get a Cyber Dragon Seer. So yeah, might as well get a Cyber Dragon with it, right? That looks nice. And oh yeah, Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage. Uh, I, I think I've heard this one is much easier to get. Of course, it kind of got a rarity uh, decrease, I guess. But, yeah, still Sky Striker engaged, so that's awesome. I mean, it's still easy enough to get. Like I said, I'll get organized here in a second. <laughs> the World Legacy Survivor. But yeah, the readers and comments I don't think matter just a ton, probably, for you guys, because you've seen them in the older packs this is from. It's like Flames of Destruction all the way to... Soul Fusion, I guess? Yeah, I think so. Because it's not Savage Strike. That's not in this. Uh, we have uh, Riven Dread Executor. Looks pretty nice. I think it was a common. So, yeah, or rare. Oh, yeah, and a Danger Jackalope. Oh, yeah, a bunch of the Dangers will reprint this, too. They're like just about all, I think, this Prismatic Secret Rare. That looks nice. And then even uh, Nightmare uh, Corruptor Ipley. We got one of those earlier. Dang, that was a good 10 to start off with. There we go, Center Frog. That even got a rarity boost, technically. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's what I like about these more than anything, is that they're not reprinted as the same rarity. I mean, I like how, you know, Megatons always made things easier to get, but it was the same rarity, so I was like, you know, I want to see something different. And, uh, looks like that's what we got this time. Ow, that landed on my foot. That landed on the other lid. <laughs> All right, I can already tell we got a different promo. One of the ones I've been looking forward to because new Dark Magician. Let's get to it. There we go. So first off, Magician, a Black Chaos Max. So it's one of the newer rituals. Then after that, we have a Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. That looks amazing. You guys know I'm a big fan of Red Eyes. He's my favorite of the original three. And yeah, a new version of him is awesome. 
Then even Obelisk the Tormentor, another god card, you can't go wrong. Uh, Rigeki, another one of those. I'm glad those are easy to get. And then also uh, Dark Ruler No More. That's another one of the new cards that is very good. I think there's three different ones you can get, basically. And all three are good. Like, you can't really go wrong with them. Probably of the three, uh, the Meteor is my favorite. But, again, you can't go wrong. The promo packs are really good, in my opinion. And even some reprints, too, on the For Hires, by the way. Incantation Talismandra. Then Red Reboot. Oh, that looks awesome. I forgot this was actually a secret rare. Oh, that looks really cool. I like it. And Danger Dogman. I think he's like one of the only dangers that's not a secret rare in this. So. Because even um, Mothman, I think we got that one from the first Mega Ten I opened up in the other video. And it was a prismatic. So. Pretty crazy. All right. What else can we get then? have a Cyverse Witch, which I, I like how that got turned to a super rare. And then another one of Equimax. Oh, that is awesome. I've been debating on building Crusadia, so maybe that will give me a reason. And even Topologic uh, Trisbina. Kind of wish that was a Prismatic, by the way. Guess it was already a secret rare, so whatever. Fulgo. I also wish Clockwifer was uh, a holo. I want more Cyverse holo cards, and especially for my Dragoonides. I don't think they got any holo treatment from this Mega Ten, unfortunately. A little sad about that, but Noble Knights did. So they, they gave me at least one of my favorite archetypes. So I can't complain too much. <laughs> Fair enough. Dampier. Looks funny to see him as a common. Then we have Cyber Dragon Hertz. Uh, Iron Dragon uh, Timaton. Oh, that looks cool. And then uh, Nightmare Griffin. Yeah, I think all the Nightmares are Ultra Ears, by the way. So <laughs> there you go. It looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we're to the next one already. And by the way, in case people are wondering, um, these are 20 bucks each. And when you get a case, you get a little bit of a discount, so... That's why you're going to see a lot of YouTubers buying a case of this, because it's, uh, it's a good set to do that with. And it's not as expensive as 20 bucks each, of course. <laughs> so people get confused on that. It's like, well, obviously you're buying in bulk, so you're getting a little bit of a break. Oh, come on, my hands are shaking. There we go. I'm excited. I gotta admit, my hands are all shaky because I've just been really looking forward to this tin. Another one of our uh, red eyes. Then this time we have a uh, Neo Kaiser Glider. Another one of the Kazuki Takahashi cards, obviously. Slifer. Man, I love that though. Seriously, that looks amazing. This time we got Wing Dragon of Raw. And then also here's a uh, Nibiru. Uh, or, am I saying that right? Nibiru? I, I don't know. The Primal Bink. Basically, this one I was talking about being my favorite because, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> basically your new uh, sphere mode that's going to wipe out your opponent's field. So, what else we got? Have Dragster, Called by the Grave. Now, that's another one I was excited about, too. That looks amazing. That is really cool. And Ibli. Yeah, I think Called by the Grave is one of the more expensive ones to get from this. I don't know. Uh, nothing's really expensive that I saw before I did the video, so I don't think I'm going to do really a price thing because I think most things are under like 10 bucks, which I mean that as a good thing because I want people to be able to get the cards they want to play. So that's not a bad thing, in my opinion. Rev System. Oh, yeah, they did do this. Uh, Skytracker Ace Ray. I forgot they actually, because she was like a secret, I think, in Battles of Legend or something, something like that. Still cool looking, though, but yeah. Kind of an odd choice and topologic. Could have been one of my Dracoonides instead, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not salty about it, you are. <laughs> nah, I really don't mind. Then uh, Rivendred, another one of those. A danger response team. Nah, probably shouldn't have been a secret rare. And then also uh, Widowanker. Yeah, and the danger cards, you only really want the monsters. The spells and traps, nah. <laughs> I don't know if I would make any of those secret rares or anything. I really, the only thing that bums me out about this set is that um, I still feel like Savage Strike should have been part of it. Just plain and simple. Try not to be too loud with that. But maybe instead of some of these other reprints, they should have just went with Savage Strike, get like Borload, mainly. Because that one is still very tough to get. 
I mean, Borlord Savage Dragon, by the way, because all the other Borlords have been reprinted a few times lately. Got Exodia, then a Dark Magician, Monster Reborn this time, okay, a Regeki, and then another one of Primal Being. I'll just say it like that because I don't know if I'm saying his first name correctly. <laughs> Mr. Meteor. Mr. Ruin Your Day, basically. Incantation, Bookstone, I'm happy about those. Then, of course, we have uh, M Mana Dragon Zitron. I forgot he was actually turned into a Seeker Rare. That's pretty cool looking. And then uh, Danger Bigfoot. Kind of feel like he should have been a Prismatic. That would have been cool. Oh, well. I feel like I'm not going to name off the rares anymore because, yeah, again, I don't think anyone really cares on that, like rares and commons, as much because they're basically reprints of stuff that was already easy to get. Like some of the vampire stuff is nice, but I still really get the hollows of them because I don't think they're expensive. A uh, World Legacy World Crown. Yeah, I forgot they actually turned that into a hollow. That's cool. Then, yeah, Heritage of the Chalice. My Noble Knights did get a rarity boost on that, so I am happy. And then even uh, Danger Nessie. Well, there you go. <laughs> Danger Bigfoot and Nessie in the same Mega Ten. Dang. Do that back in the day. That'd be over 100 bucks right there. Last one. Damn tier. Then another one of Rev System, Ray, and then uh, Prankatops, which... I kind of like the old tree a little bit better than the secret. Am I wrong for that? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on that. Secret doesn't look bad, but I kind of like that ultra rare. Of course, I'm I'm a pretty big fan of ultra rares too. I mean, ultimate's probably my favorite rarity, but I don't know. It just has that clean look to it. So, let me know if you feel the same way. Or heck, what reprints you like the most? I'm sorry if I'm making too much noise, but. <laughs> There. Okay, promo pack. I think we've just about seen everything from these promo packs, but I'm going to keep opening them just to make sure. Exodia. Oh, yeah, that Mana. That's right. We hadn't gotten her yet. So there's another one. The new Dark Magician Girl, basically. Her human form, I guess. Uh, Obelisk. Winged Dragon of Raw. And then Dark Ruler No More. Now that might be all of them. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think if I'm missing any. I'll just keep opening them just to make sure. Might as well see what's easier to get and what's not, so. Doesn't hurt. Rivendred again. Red Reboot, okay. And then also Thunder Dragon Titan. At least a few of my Noble Knights got secret rares because there's, if you notice, there have been a few rares too in this set. I would have liked to have had uh, Kostian as one of the uh, secret rares. But unfortunately not. Have DDD Super Doom King Purple Armageddon, Danger Chupacabra, which I I like that too. That's he's a scary looking card anyway. And then uh, Widow Anchor. There we go. And we'll probably do a recap too. So, but if you skip to the end, you're not my favorite. I I, I know. Got to tell you, you watch the whole video, you're my favorite. <laughs> That's, that's what we're going to do, play favorites like that. Hurts. Then, oh yeah, Nightmare Mermaid. I remember one of my friends told me about this, because again, I don't have all these memorized yet, like what's what rarity, because there's so many. But uh, that does look cool. I remember him saying that he really wanted to get one of these. And then also Nightmare Phoenix. One that I was pretty happy about, because yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool to see a rarity boost for, for Phoenix. Cerberus is also an ultra rare. Yeah, I think Mermaid really is the only one that's not an ultra out of this, because it's got secret of treatment. Which, that's probably pretty fair. It was a rare to begin with, so. There we go. And there. Okay. I hate this, like, first layer of plastic. For some reason, that's kind of tough to open. All right. Promo pack time. Exodia. Uh, of course, Dark Magician. Reborn, and yeah. Then we have uh, Dimension Shifter this time. I guess we have to name those off each time. Looks like I've just about gotten like a playset or so of each one, so that's good. I was hoping none of them would be too tough to get. Have uh, World Crown again. 
Sky Striker H uh, Shizuku. Yeah, seriously, why do you, Konami, why do you give Sky Striker so many good rarities? Seriously. And then Prankatops. I'm not trying to be a hater, but, uh, come on. <laughs> they got the ultimate rares lately and everything. Okay, now I'm being salty about the Dragoonity thing. Fine. You got me. But what's going on with that? Uh, oh yeah, Crusadia Draco. Now that was a cool one. Then also, uh, Salmon Great Foxy. Yeah, I remember that one too. That's really neat looking to see in person. Really shiny. And then also Bigfoot. Oh yeah, that's right. A uh, friend of mine also wants the Alter Geist. Uh, Multi-Faker. It's supposed to be super rare. I'll have to keep a lookout on that. We'll see. Uh, incantation. Then, oh yeah, here's one of my Noble Knight cards. Until Noble Arms are needed once again. That's a really cool artwork. And then also a Vampire Sucker. That's a good one to get reprint, by the way, because anything with zombies, that's a good Link monster. So, yeah. Can we... Yeah, how's the time doing? Okay. I have to reset the face cam here in a second, because as you guys know... When it hits about 20 minutes, that camera doesn't want to keep recording. So, <laughs> I'll do that here in just a second after this 10. Another red eyes. Oops. I did not want to open right at all. What in the world? There we go. So then Exodia, Obelisk Raw, and then a Dark Ruler. I hope I basically get a playset of all the, the promo cards. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. Probably will. Incantation, a Tals Mandra, Chupacabra, and then also a Dragon Duo. Oh yeah, and I definitely want a playset of all of the uh, Incantations. As Hollows, I'm a big fan of that. I was hoping they would get Hollow Forms at some point. So, I think that's cool. Good choice. Uh, let's see, uh, King Genghis, then Ray again, <laughs> I guess we're getting that play set, and then Herald of the Abyss. Oh yeah, Cyber's Magician, I kind of wish that was secret too. It just looked cool. I I'm a fan of Cybers, I can't help myself, I guess they're part of my username. Maybe at some point we'll see some more for them. Waking the Dragon, that should have been a secret too, that would have been cool. Uh, Draco. Uh, Thunder Dragon uh, Dark, or, you know, Thunder Dragon Dark, I guess technically how you say it. <laughs> but that's really cool looking as a Seeker Rare. And then also a Danger Dog Man. So, pretty good. I mean, dang. Uh, let me reset the face cam and we'll be right back. Alright, so here we go. Reset the face cam, in case you're wondering. Yeah, I don't know why it does it either. I think it's like, I tried to talk to the manufacturer about it and it's like, oh, it'll overheat if you don't let it. And Blech. Technical talk. <laughs> there we go. Alright, Kaiser. There's Mana again. Okay, good. Raw, Slifer, and uh, Primal Bing. I'll say, I was hoping Mana wouldn't be like the tough one to get because, you know. <laughs> I don't even have to say it. Do I? Anything to do with Dark Magician Girl? F.A. Don Dragster? Oh yeah, Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. Now that's another one I thought was really cool. So I, I love Galaxy Eyes. Can't wait for new support. And then even another Crusadia. Well, there we go. That's, still like, that's probably my favorite Link monster right now, or at least one of. That is so much for its archetype. Seems fun to see a lot of Sky Striker cards in this. Uh, this time we have Pencil Plume for Incantation. Maximus, that's another really cool one. I always love his artwork anyway. And then also uh, Frolin. Yeah, Maximus looks like he's like a Bleach character or something. I don't know. He looks like he's from some kind of Shonen Jump anime. I love his design. Never going to get over how his other card, though, says check this out. <laughs> Let's see, DDD. Sick as light. Now that's another really cool reprint. And then uh, Bigfoot. 
Which is kind of funny because the OTS pack then uh, isn't as sought after because, yeah, I think it was a super in that. <laughs> they already one-upped it. The same with Red Reboot. I think that also got the same. Or no, that might have already been a super. I don't remember exactly. Oh, I already tell what we got there. <laughs> already another one of our Dark Magician Girl. I think it, I might now have a playset of all the promos. So, really cool. Again, we'll do a recap to make sure. See what's, you know, which one I got the most of from my case. But I think I've gotten just about everything. And then, yeah, Dark Ruler. All right, I don't know what I should ask for now. Still hoping for a multi-faker just for one of my friends. So we'll see. Executor, that one's easy to get. Another one of Dragon Dark, and then uh, Thunderbird. Guess that is one of the only danger cards I haven't really seen. That and uh, Tsuchinoko. That's right, that's, uh, that's gonna be, I wonder how tough that's gonna be to get. We'll see. The Snake. Uh, Pencil Plume, until Noble Knights are needed again, and then uh, another Crusadia. Thought I'll just shorten some names. So I'm trying to keep this from being 30 minutes, but I don't know if I can. I'm trying. Probably won't be able to. Uh, Crusadia, another one of those. Uh, Abora. Then, oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta have your Sky Strikers. Hayate this time. And there we go. Okay, I was wondering if I was gonna get one of these too. Uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus. So yeah, I think he actually looks pretty good as an Ultra Rare. Although, I want the Ultimate Rare at some point. That's from an OTS pack. But uh, that looks really cool. I'm glad I actually, it's like the second one I've ever gotten on this channel, technically. <laughs> because I did get a Secret Rare eventually. There's, you know, our uh, Cyber's Clock Dragon. That's another one I would have liked a Secret Rare too. Again, I'm just a Cybers fan, so that's why. You need to be careful with that. That's why I'm kind of cutting these off camera, because I feel like it's a little safer. <laughs> Me with a knife anyway is not good. There we are. Okay. These promo pack things always open weird for me. Gosh. There we go. First world problems, I know. <laughs> Let's see. Blue eyes, red eyes, god cards, and yeah, dark ruler. Seems to be the easiest one to get. Okay, Chimera. That would have been cool as a hollow as well. Cyber's Witch. Then uh, Salmon Great Heat Leo. Yeah, I remember this one too. Now that's a pretty cool looking card. And then, of course, Crusadia. I still like the 20th anniversary that Japan got, but uh, at least we got that secret. That does look nice. Then what else? Can we get a Boral Sword? I don't think I've gotten one yet. Uh, Draco. Then, well, Crusadia this time is a Link Monster. And then uh, Frolin. But yeah, I have not seen Boral Sword. I don't know if it's as tough to get as it was in uh, Battles of Legend. I haven't really heard. I was lucky enough to get one, like, from the original set a long time ago, so <laughs> I at least haven't had too much trouble on that, but, uh, yeah, I, I wonder how tough it is to get. Thunder Dragon Fusion, Hayate again, and then Danger Bigfoot. I think I've more than a place out of those. So, like I said, though, I'm just hoping that it's not tough for other people to get, because if you're still missing Boral Sword, you shouldn't be. I mean, after all the reprints, it should be easier to get. Konami should make it fairly easy, but I don't know if they did. We'll see. Hope so. Especially after the structure deck. Maybe they'll make it a little bit like that so you can actually get all your Boral Monsters you want. All right, Blue Eyes, Exodia, yeah, pretty much the same. Oh, it's always Dark Ruler, just about, isn't it? <laughs> it seems like I'm getting more of those than any of the others. I just noticed that one. And maybe that's the easiest one to get. I don't know. Then a Pencil Plume. After that, another one, Galaxy has Soul Flare. And then Herald of the Abyss. Pretty good. 
wonder if those are going to stay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't see them on camera. I have all the comments stacked up over there, and uh, if you hear something fall, that's what happens. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and warn you. Can only blame myself. Uh, Crusadia Abora. Then Maximus, okay. And then I beat uh, Bladesman for Hire. Oh yeah, I forgot that actually turned to an Ultra Rare. Kind of cool. I mean, I kind of prefer the Secret Rare, I guess. But uh, yeah, it was a card that I think was still kind of tough to get. Hadn't checked in a while. And last one for this Megaton. Okay. Come on, Boral Sword. Just because. I just want to see if I can get one out of a case. A uh, great fly. I'm happy about that one too. I think like all the attribute ones now can be hollow. Also have Sekka's Light. And then another one of Titan. Yeah, that's not really the fusion you want to go for, right? That's the one I have better luck getting than Colossus. I, I wonder why. <laughs> I think there's a reason. And last Megaton. Okay, what are we ending with? Help me out, you guys. Hit that like button. Let's get that Boral Sword to end off on. Again, thankfully... I don't technically need one, but I'm hoping I don't go through a whole case without getting one. But we'll see. There. I'm going to have to clean up everywhere, too. I got, like, packs and stuff all around me. <laughs> it's a mess. I have to post, like, Instagram or something, so follow me there. There. <laughs> Self-promotion. And, yeah, I was about to say, are we going to end with Dark Ruler? We actually did. I'm going to have to see how many of each one I got. Okay. We still have our last three packs, though, so. Have another one. Crusadia. Uh, Shizuku. I got to get a Sky Striker. And Titan. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing a, a couple of uh, doubles on that. Also, I'd really like another Call by the Grave, by the way. I've only gotten one, I think. Have uh, World Lance. Cyber Dragon Seeger. Now that's cool. And then Danger Bigfoot. I've gotten quite a few of that one, too. <laughs> kind of surprised. And last pack. Okay, what can we do? Can we get that Boral Sword or Suchinoko? I think we missed... Yeah, we're missing on that one. I think what else? Those are the only two I can think of right now, really. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just go with that. Have uh, King Genghis. Then Summon Great Foxy. That one's still kind of cool. I, I do like that one. And then uh, we have Widow Anchor. So, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get a Boral Sword unless I just missed something. And uh, Suchinoko. But, honestly, I got the cards I was looking for. So I'm pretty happy about that. But, anyway, let's do a recap. Okay, and we are back. So I think I sorted everything correctly, and uh, let's just do a recap of uh, everything we got. So first off for our promo pack cards. I actually got three of the Meteor, so that's one of the main ones I wanted. Got uh, quite a few of Dark Ruler. How many we get? Like two playsets and uh, <laughs> even an extra on that. So that must be the easier one to get, or at least for my case. I don't know. It mine speaks for everyone's. And then also uh, Dimension Shifter. I actually only got two, so that was the tougher one, I guess, for me to get. Here, I need to keep these kind of stacked, or, or it's going to be a mess. <laughs> Let's see. I actually got a few of Regeki. Then, uh, same with Monster Reborn. Then, yeah, for, like, Exodia, we got quite a few of him. Seemed like he was one of the more popular ones for me. Got a few of Red Eyes. And, yeah, I mean, for the promo card, basically, I wanted a playset of each. And that's pretty much what happened. I think Kaiser Glider might have been the only one I didn't, which seems like the odd one out, right? I mean, I, I feel like that one would probably be the easier one to get normally. So, uh, not really a problem. I could pick up another one of those. I just really like these for anniversary art and nostalgia, really. But, uh, yeah. I mean, out of the other ones, though, I guess uh, <laughs> freaking Dark Ruler liked me the most. All right. Now for our Super Rares. Super Rares, I think I did pretty well. I mean, a lot of Crusadia stuff. Got a lot of the Incantations. I'm fortunate I place it of each of the Incantations, but I'll just pick up what I'm missing. So, not too worried about that. Then, yeah. World Crown, even on that. FAs. There's some really cool ones. <laughs> I, I gotta admit, Great Fly, I only got one of that one. I'm kind of surprised, but I, I really thought that was cool. I wish the other Cyverse Links would have got some hollow treatment as well, like Clock Spark Toy and uh, the one that helps you with Synchro Summoning. I, I forget its name right now, but I wish they would have also been hollows. Oh, then again, that would have been Savage Strike with, this, with that one, I guess. So, 
Maybe next time or something, we'll get it. <laughs> now for Ultra Rares, I got a lot of Danger Bigfoot. Like That was probably the main Ultra Rare I think I got. Nessie, only one of those. Got a lot of Nightmare cards, though, and pretty good assortment. Unfortunately, though, no Boral Sword. I don't know if it's supposed to be tough to get, or maybe there's some people out there that got a case and got a bunch of them. I don't know. At least it's not a card that I really needed. I mean, again, I got a lot of the cards I was missing and wanted, so honestly, my case worked out pretty well for me. And then even Colossus. I only got one of those, though. That was the only one I was kind of like, eh, I'd like to get a playset if I could, but I figured it'd be tough to get. And same with Engage. That was still kind of tough for me, but again, I don't know if someone else has done a case opening where they've gotten a stack of them. So we'll have to see. I'm sure the odds are kind of out there for a lot of people because Mega Tens, there's a lot of things you can get. And then, of course, for our Seeker Rares, I mean, I got Dragon Dark, got a couple of Foxy, a bunch of Ray, a lot of Sky Striker stuff, really. Uh, Jackalope, I like that. That one is one of the cooler looking ones for some reason to me. Then, yeah, Crusadias again, definitely got to hollow out uh, that deck. I mean, seriously, I'm going to use that. Uh, Galaxy Eyes, Mermaid. And like I said, Sky Strikers for days. <laughs> Seriously, they always get the good rarities. Some Noble Knights. One Called by the Grave. That's another one that I'm kind of like, ah, oh, man, I kind of want to place that. I'll just have to hunt them down. Whatever. And you guys know it won't be my last opening of these Mega Tens. What am I trying to say, you know? <laughs> you know you're not going to be able to stop me. But, uh, yeah, out of my case, again, I got a lot of cards I wanted, so I'm happy with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss out on future content. Again, you guys know I'm going to open up plenty more of these tens. I actually have a few more sitting next to me that we'll probably do maybe this weekend or something. And yeah, I have uh, a ton of different videos I'm working on. So I hope you guys are looking forward to those. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.